understand the term delayed gratification. Delaying all the fun activities, partying crazy, being in a bunch of relationships, falling in love so much, you're more likely to, to fail miserably when you're not focused. And what I also notice is this happens to a lot of guys. Michael B. Jordan proves that when you stay on your purpose, you win in life. All right, YouTube, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and talk about Michael B. Jordan and this whole term called corny. What I find interesting is a lot of people don't truly know the true definition of corny. I'm going to go ahead and define corny. Mockishly, old-fashioned, tired, simply, simple, and sentimental. Now, that's what you define as corny. Anybody that defines success as corny, anybody that defines stability as corny, you're a horrible person. You're the one that's corny. Michael B. Jordan is far from being corny. Now, I always tell gentlemen this, man. The Michael B. Jordan is the prime example of staying on your purpose first before everything else. What happens to a lot of young men is we're so focused on winning so early. We want to be that guy so early. We want to win in life so early when in our true nature, we're not ready yet. From a mature standpoint, from a financial standpoint, and I'm not saying all guys that are within the ages of 18 and 29 are not ready. I'm not saying all guys, but most guys within that age range are truly not ready. Even for guys 30 through 34, but 30 through 34 is a different age bracket in comparison to 18 to 29. Now, going back to what I was talking about in regards to Michael B. Jordan, he had a recent interview with a former high school classmate where he called her out for calling him corny back in the day. And she tried to act like she didn't know what he was talking about. I noticed that a lot of guys who were labeled as nerds or guys who were unknown in high school, middle school, that didn't really get the girls like that, didn't really get the attention. But it's always later on in life where they start winning. And Michael B. Jordan is a prime example of that. And I always tell young men, understand the term delayed gratification. Delaying all the fun activities, partying crazy, being in a bunch of relationships, falling in love so much, and focusing on your purpose, learning how to save your money, learning financial literacy, learning to stay fit, continue to stay fit, stay on your purpose, focus on your goals and dreams instead of focusing on distractions that'll hold you back. You're more likely to have a baby out of wedlock. You're more likely to, to fail miserably when you're not focused. And what I also notice is this happens to a lot of guys. Michael B. Jordan proves that when you stay on your purpose, you win in life. I'm gonna go ahead and play a video for Michael B. Jordan where he spoke about delayed gratification. Man, I'm built different, period. Rarely go out and I always felt like if other cats was out partying and I was home studying, I would have an edge. All right, I will party later. I work hard now, so the second half of my life, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Mm -hmm. That's 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 been my mentality. It's like I'm not going to trick off my early years for partying and then worry about struggling, how I'm going to make it, how I'm going to take care of my family, how I'm going to take care of everybody else. Like, that's not going to be me. I'm going to grind it out now. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to set up the foundation so I can enjoy myself later. That's always been my mentality. Now, based off this video, it touched me so much because... This man is on the Walk of Fame in Hollywood. Being on the Walk of Fame is like being on the Hall of Fame in the NFL. Being on the Hall of Fame as an NBA player. Or winning a high accolade or winning a Grammy. A Walk of Fame is big. This man sacrificed many years of work. Many years of hard work. And now he's at a place where he has a variety amount of options. He can choose any woman he wants. He can do whatever the hell he wants. He's made so much money. He's financially stable. He's an older man, and he's ready to roll, and he still look good, pause. As a matter of fact, not even pause, he's a good looking brother. So I always tell dudes, man, focus on your purpose, delay gratification, focus on your goals and dreams, get in the gym, develop a system of routine that's gonna help you in the long term, in the long run. But a lot of dudes are so focused on winning early. A lot of dudes are not focused on their purpose. A lot of dudes put women before their purpose, and that equates to being a sin. Putting a woman before your purpose. And I know I'm going to get a lot of naysayers. Oh, well, you know, God doesn't believe in that. You have to put your women first. You have to put your wife first. No. Your purpose comes first. Because, again, 
you want to talk about the biblical purpose. Like, I'm not a biblical expert, but I know there are some chapters in scriptures in the Bible that talk about a man being the leader. That's why, man, we got to focus on being leaders, not followers. My goal is to build more leaders amongst men. Men, following in their own frame. Men, maintain their frame. Men, stay on your purpose. There are 3.9 billion men, and Michael B. Jordan is part of that 1% of men that are extremely successful. Every man must strive to become that 1%. But in order to become that 1%, you got to number one, stay on your purpose. You got to be disciplined. You gotta understand the term delayed gratification. You gotta be extremely focused to the point where nothing can stop you from getting in the way of your dreams. Nothing can get in the way of what you're trying to accomplish. That's how you become that 1%. That 1% requires a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifices, a lot of sleepless nights. A lot of dudes wanna become that 1%. A lot of dudes wanna be rich, but a lot of dudes are putting all that to the side, putting their purpose to the side and focusing on chasing women all day long. I'm telling y'all, fellas, man, when you are chasing, you are losing. You want to get to a point, fellas, where you have a variety of women that come up to you to the point where you don't have to chase. There's a difference, there's a difference between chasing and pursuing a woman. Big difference. Pursuing a woman is dating a woman, courting a woman. That there's a mutual interest involved, and you guys are actually getting somewhere. You guys are actually elevating. Chasing is sliding in DMs, going to the club, grabbing women, going to the grocery store, going trying to highlight women that don't even acknowledge or care about you. Being extremely reckless, being getting rejected, consistently chasing that same woman, being persistent and losing. That's chasing. Out of 3.9 billion men in this world, I would say about 85% of these men are chasers. They continuously comment on these girls' pictures, being thirsty, sliding in DMs, not winning in life, but always get jealous and envy and complain. Why can I be that 1%? Why can I reach the top? Because you didn't put in the work. You didn't put in the work to reach that, to become that 1%. Michael B. Jordan is part of that 1%. He's part of that 1% of men. So that you can call him corny all you want, but this man is living his best life. This man has options. It be the same women that want a good man. It be the same women that say, where are all the good men at? Not all the good men that y'all want. But all the good men that you describe are considered corny. And I talk to women all the time. And a lot of times, women don't know what they want in a man. That's why I always tell fellas, you must maintain your frame, stay on your purpose. And also, you must know what you want out of women. That's a different conversation for another YouTube video. Gentlemen, you got to stay on your purpose. That's the only way you're going to become that 1%. Just like Michael B. Jordan. I, myself, I strive to be that 1%. Every year, I elevate. Every year, I'm learning. Every year, I'm growing. Each and every day, I'm learning something new. You must know yourself at your core in order to become that 1%. You must understand your surroundings in order to be that 1%. You must keep the right people around you in order to be that 1%. You must have a bulletproof mindset in order to be that 1%. Fellas, I love when I meet guys who are in that 1% range and how they live and how they operate. The mindset, I'm, I'm a sponge, like I wanna learn from them. I don't see any envy when I come across real wealthy men. I look at them as inspiration. Truly, like from the bottom of my soul, I see them as inspiration because I want to be them. I want to be that 1%. Every man should focus on being that 1% because when you're that 1%, when it comes to dating, it will not be difficult. Now, there's, I know there's other factors that are involved, like your mental health, your spiritual health, your emotional intelligence, all those other factors that factor into being that 1%. But gentlemen, you have to focus on being a top tier guy. You got to focus on being a superior man. When I read that book, The Way to Superior Man, that book changed my life. That put me in a different mind bracket. Just like how they talk about being in a different tax bracket. Reading that book put me in a different mind bracket where I'm so far advanced mentally in comparison to a lot of dudes. That's when I know I'm going to be that 1%. And if anybody thinks that Michael B. Jordan is corny, you know what you're talking about. So you call a guy corny who has his stuff together, who's an attractive man, who has a variety amount of options, and he's corny. I find that very interesting. Fellas, understand that there's going to be some delayed gratification, so you have to focus on your purpose. You got to focus on winning because, hey, again, you're going to win later on. It may take five years. It may take ten years. But you got to make sacrifices, fellas. You got to put your purpose first before a woman. You got to put your purpose first before partying and going to the club. Sometimes there's going to be periods of time where you won't be hanging out with your homeboys. You're going to be focused on your purpose. People won't understand when you're staying focused. A lot of people don't really understand. Like myself, I've sacrificed 
a lot of hangouts because I want to be that one percent. I want to reach the top each and every day. I'm grinding. Like I know I'm a different breed. When I tell people what I do on a day to day basis, they think I'm crazy. They're like, "Damn, brother, you better than me at that." Nah. I want to grind, I want it bad. I want to get to the top, I want to be that 1%. I want to be able to provide for my family. That's my goal, to be a top tier guy, to be a superior man. So again, shout out to Michael B. Jordan, my brother, salute you. Also salute to all men that are extremely successful. Again, I'm trying to get brothers to be like y'all, myself included. So gentlemen, go ahead and hit the like button. Also do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Bam, bam.